And we've seen a lot more hand crews out here today along Highway 74 going to those areas that the Cranston fire has already burned through. Right now it is most actively burning here in Apple Canyon and they are relying heavily on helicopters dropping water on these spots. Wow. I didn't I thought this had made it, but you know we were talking the other night. We said, you know, if theirs went, I'm sure this went too. It's a haunting sight, the home Stephen Marsha Thompson spent seven years of their lives in, burned down to its bare bones. We used to invite everybody from the marina. It's near and dear to their hearts, this tight-knit community on Deerfoot Lane in Idlewild. Years ago, the couple moved just up the street. They walked down the road Friday to discover what the Cranston fire did to their former home. And that was Tom and Daryl's cabin. What it did to their close neighbors homes. This house up here was called Whale Rock before it, it's gone. Cal Fire is still out here in this neighborhood, hosing down everything around these five burned homes because they know that soon enough these homeowners will be back trying to salvage what they can. Uh, making sure that this is cold and uh, put this area to bed. Cal Fire Captain Scott Viziak says 116 fire engines from across the state and 163 firefighters are here battling the Cranston fire. Two of them were injured. Friday, crews fought the fire from the air, attacking the flames that continued to tear through the Apple Canyon area near Lake Hemet. And that's where a lot of the uh, efforts with the helicopters and fixed wings are right now. And Cal Fire says already the Cranston fire has cost about $3 million for them to begin fighting. They're expecting the bill could get up to $34 million for them to continue fighting it and contain it. For now, reporting live in Mountain Center, Nicole Comstock, CBS 2 News.